Hello everyone, Michael Chava here from the Morning Coffee Review Series, here today to give you a quick tip on how to easily make bookmarks in review. Now I use bookmarks if I don't have any sections jumping me to which page they're going to, or maybe you have a large document set and you hate having to click through each page to get to where you want to go. You just want a quick little area where you can click to where you want to be. So let me show you how you can create these in review in just a couple of steps. Alrighty, so now that we're in review, let's show you how this can be done. I currently have review open. I'm gonna go to my file access and access a set of PDF documents that I have. This is more structural document set that I have open, but this works for any kind of document set that you have. Um, well. Let me put a caveat on that. That's more if I have something like this that has a title block here that I can grab some data from for this instance. That's similar on each page that I'm gonna go through. So over here I have what we called bookmarks. Now it looks like a book with a little um, a bookmark. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on this. I don't have any bookmarks available, right? I was talking a little bit earlier about having to go through and click through my different pages. This section cuts don't even work either, so I can't click through to change them to different pages. How can I create something over here that itemizes all of my pages so I can just click through quickly on this side? By the way, you can also create a page index from this as well. But let's go through and tell you how you can create bookmarks quickly. So again, I have the panel open. If you do not have that bookmarks panel showing, you can right click on the panel area, say show, and then go down to your bookmarks and say that there are bookmarks or Alt plus B, that'll indicate them to populate. So once this bookmark panel is populated, you've selected it, you have this icon here that allows you to create bookmarks. The one to the right allows you to add a bookmark. I'm gonna create a new bookmark currently right here. And what this is gonna do is you can do it from page labels. I don't currently have any page labels set up. I'm going to do it from a page region. This is my preferred method. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select an area that I want to grab from. I'm going to go down to the bottom right. I want to show the number first. So this is me grabbing this portion of the title block. It's going to go to each page and grab the same data from the same exact area. So I'm going to grab the number first. This is my first region of data. It gives me a preview. I'm then going to do an underscore and grab additional data. I want it then to grab on each page in the same exact area of this data. Now I'm over exceeding the amount of text because maybe the next pages have more text. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of extra room to grab more data. And maybe it comes down past this first header of text too. So I'm gonna extend past it, boom, there we go. So here's my two regions. Here's the number, here's the name, and I'm gonna hit okay. How many page ranges do I want this to run through? You could just do the one or you could do all custom range. I'm gonna hit okay. And now it's created my bookmarks. So now easily I can go through and look at which pages I wanna to go to versus having to click through, right? So if I'm on a foundation plan or any plan and I want to look at my S2.1 sheets, again, this isn't clickable. I don't have links enabled on these. Can I quickly go to that page? You can, because you have a bookmark here that's gonna show you where it is. Now you can take this to the next level and add by right clicking a um, child view. This would be more of, hey, if I click on something below there, is it gonna add to an, a secondary view? So let's show you how this can be done too. Let me just show you add a child view. This one's gonna be detail, we'll just say number one. Then I'm gonna add an action to it. So I'm gonna add a go to somewhere. So I'm gonna to set to, sorry, action. What am I talking about? I'm gonna to go to an action here and then I'm gonna to jump to a place and I'm gonna create a new place for this to jump to. And this is gonna be S, well, we'll just do um, 2.1 detail number one. Then this is gonna to go to an area. There's a couple of different steps you can do here like location specifically or current view or snapshot location. So I'm gonna snapshot location because I want it to go specific to this detail. I'm gonna hit okay, hit okay again. So now again, I could be on the one sheet and then let's say if there's a detail for one, I could just quickly go through and click on that one and it's gonna bring me to that location. So you can start adding child views that are just broken down like a tree here 
in your bookmark area if you wanted to. That's just some additional items. Again, just showing you some quick ways. The next thing that we talked about briefly was the ability to export these bookmarks. You can export these bookmarks as index. Maybe I'll show you guys in another quick tip video if you want some more info on more things about bookmarks and things you can do with them. Just put them in the comments. Maybe I'll create another one. If not, thanks everyone for tuning in today and I look forward to showing you another quick tip in the future.